Um, in fact, the only Wigan player that I've seen over the years have multiple issues with tackling like this is actually Talima Tautai, and I've called him out for it multiple times on the show, even, like I say, when he wasn't charged for, for um, things. Um, in terms of... Let's do David Fafita and the can of worms that he's opened, to be honest. I think Go on. by... And I would want your view on this. I think by taking to social media to try and get a young kid banned um, has opened up a can of worms. Now, I'm not saying that the tackle he highlighted by Joe Shorrox isn't worthy of criticism or of a charge. And I actually think it was probably slightly more dangerous than the in, than the Sam Powell one on Reese Lynn. But the Sam Powell one on Reese Lynn happened to be the one that unfortunately caused an injury. And this one, fortunately, didn't cause um an injury now this was a 19 year old kid on debut trying to make an impact and he got it wrong he got this tackle wrong right to be honest when i watched it live you don't get a great view always at wakefield field do you um i you're a bit close or too yeah whatever. too low weird angles <laughs> too low yeah that sort of stuff but um i live i thought it was one of those tackles where the defender just kind of puts his arms around the legs at the ankles to get leverage to get the guy to ground if there's been no held call coming up, you know, which it, it, it looked a bit like that. But when you watch that video back that Fafita put up, you can see that he first went in with his shoulders attacking just below the knee. Um, I think then he sort of pulled back a bit from that challenge. So I don't think, I don't think, maybe he realised what he'd done was wrong. He pulled back from that and did do then the thing that I thought he'd done, which was just loop around. Um, what was dangerous about that, though, even the looping around part, was Fafita had stood with a really wide base, so he could get himself a quick play of the ball once hell was called, I think, and, and that yeah. sort of stuff. And, and he hasn't judged the situation right. And I, and I tell you what, right, as well, um, on a different day, if he'd have gone in a slightly different angle or with slightly more force or if Fafita had shifted his weight slightly or something, then the danger of this tackle could have had bad consequences of an injury. I don't think it was anywhere near fucking aggressive enough to end a player's career. So let's, again, roll back with what we're doing um, there. But, um, you know, it could have had bad consequences. And it was a game where we'd seen a couple of injuries already by that point, and we don't like seeing injuries. Fafita wasn't actually hurt. He actually got up pretty comfortably the next play he wanted to carry the ball well there was a play in between and then he wanted the carry of the next play which showed he was okay which is good because David Favita is an exciting player to watch we don't want him injured okay um, I just I don't think I've ever seen a player so clearly trying to get another player banned using the social media platform that they've got though and so this is what I want your view on, because I don't think Fafita isn't whiter than white. He's actually had a ban for the exact same type of tackle that he's calling out on this clip, and it was when he'd been a professional rugby league player for more than 12 minutes. Um, and I'm not saying that that should prevent him from raising a concern, but I don't think this is the way that I want it to be done. I'd have preferred it if he tried to speak to the young kid after the game, you know, maybe show him where he'd gone wrong, maybe reach out to him or to Adrian Lamb or someone else on the Wigan coaching staff, maybe rather than causing this fury online over the tackle with his sort of flippant comments about it as well. I just worry that it's opening a can of worms because he's going to get the same treatment back whenever he does something out of, out of order as well. And... I just I don't support dangerous tackles. I want them out of our game, obviously. But what do you think about Fafita using this as a way to address it? It feels... Mm. It, so... There's a, there's, a lot to un, there's a lot to unpick there. I think that it was... In this particular instance that I've seen, it was... Um, poor technique, badly timed, um, had the potential to cause an injury. Agree. Um, as do many things that people do in tackles. Like late hits on centres if they run across the pitch two seconds after they pass the ball can cause an injury, couldn't they? Um, for example. But I, I can't. I don't know which one you're referring to. No, but I'm just that's, saying there's other things that can cause injuries. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, just generally. Sorry, I thought you were talking about something specific from this game. Um, but no, I, yeah, obviously there's, there's there I'll are. Leave that to those in glass houses to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, it it was it was um, careless, probably, um, and it's. But you know, ultimately, his bit has been dealt with by the uh, match review 
um, process, which is the way to do it. I'm not completely satisfied with the way it's been dealt with. Uh, to be honest, I, I think a grade A charge, I don't know, I, I actually think he should have been sat down for a week, but you know. Well, I mean, unfortunately, we 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 do historically see that the uh, the consequences of an act have an impact on charging. Yeah, because uh, I don't um, think Sam Powell's was as bad. Sam Powell's on Reese Lynn is taking the leg, but it's been more that he's Reese Lynn was kind of making a half break, and I think he thought maybe he was going to get away from the player that was over the top, and is 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 lunged for the leg from a bit of a distance. And yeah. and Riesling was in motion rather than being stood still like Fafita was. It it was a whole different kettle of fish, but that one's been given a two game ban because Riesling's been injured. Yeah. I, I don't. I I if anything, I would have swapped them around. I would have given Sam Powell the grade A and given Joe Shorrocks the grade C. But anyway. Yeah, but I mean, but, thing, anyway, sorry. Yeah, no, but I mean, I, I, there is obviously the, the, there's a process to follow, and that process, you know, the the, the footage is, is available for review by the by the uh, by the panel, and that will decide who gets charged and who doesn't. Um, I'm not having um, I'm not having it players in terms of again. This relates back to the 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 point we talked about with uh, with Lynham and and Grace. It's about um, respect for your fellow professionals, yeah. and to me, that is doing that on social media isn't respectful for you to your fellow professionals. These that's the kind of thing that you talk about um you know pro on pro you know it, uh, you know I've you know after the game or you know after the dust has settled you know you know in a, in a in a few days when you've when you've all that time to calm down and not get um not get worried about potentially thought, injuries or whatever. What some of the ex players would think about it. <laughs> like, you know, what would Barry Mack say about this would he think it's the right way to approach it i i just think there's a different way david favita could have gone around this not i think, I'm not I think excusing it's... the tackle by the way before people come no no I, I, to, to be fair i don't think you are but i think um you know the, 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 let's separate the two things out we have a judiciary process that we 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 might agree we might disagree that at the end of the day that's a you know it's it's good fodder for discussion isn't it um about oh that player should have got banned blah 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 but at the end of the day there is a process there and they do publish their reasoning um for 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 reason yeah. you know for for transparency um so we have to we you know we have to um let that happen and that has to be the way that we deal with these things and we can't have a kangaroo court taken from a certain angle that was shot night you know 90 meters away um that doesn't look at what was happening it doesn't look at the specifics of you know um potential injury or how long the player had been held up and all that kind of stuff and you know because ultimately the referee on the on the pitch um the reason that we have the held call is is to is to stop Players coming, um, in, yeah. Yeah. players coming in so was so one other of these sort of third man in tackles that seemed to get the the ire of the wakefield crowd up it was on ryan hampshire and i think it was sam powell again actually um but at the time i didn't really understand why they were so angry because hampshire was still moving and powell came in and took him round the hips but um i don't know if by that point you know they'd already started to feel a weight of Maybe that one on for feet that had come slightly before. Maybe the fact that a couple of players had got injured, and and it seems to be that they're blaming Wigan for all of the injuries when the only one that you have a question mark over, obviously, with the ban coming from it and all that, is a Sam Powell Riesling yeah. one. Well, as you say, it, it doesn't take much for a fan base to to learn a narrative and to um, ultimately think that they're that, you know they're always the uh, they're always biased against us, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I really <laughs> hope none of the injuries are bad ones. Um, uh, Tommy Lulu, I got injured for Wigan. Uh, I think that was more of a muscular injury. That the the injuries to the Wakefield players all seemed a little bit more serious. So there were some knee injuries and an ankle injury. Um, Anthony England was injured in defence. Actually, he bounced off a tackle by a strong Willie Isa run. It looks like there was a bump of the knees, not in right. any way um, for a raising of the knee or anything like that. It, it was just two players running at each other. Just um, contact. It was a penalty yeah. tap, I think. Two players running each other, and one of them's come worse off from that. He looked bad, uh, did, oh. did Anthony England, so I really hope he's okay, but you can't say that was anything to do with any quote unquote tactics. Jacob Miller, um, he was hurt early in the second half. He was injured by his own player falling off him when Wigan had the ball, so Tau tired 
taken a carry up to the line and threw a, a fairly late and lavish offload and Matty Ashurst on the turn to go and chase Jake Shorrox <coughs> fell over the back of Jacob Miller's legs and that's what got him all twisted up there wasn't a Wigan player anywhere near him um, on that one and then Kyle Wood was the fourth man and God so much credit to Wakefield for their resilience in this game to, to pull out the win um, with all these things like one of the guys said the, the the burst just before and the try just after half time four tries in four sets with the ball they scored um, Wigan lapsed just for those couple of minutes and in defence when they were very it's resolute crucial. in defence other than that credit to them for their resilience Wakefield definitely hugely deserved on that on that count but anyway back to Kyle Wood he got hurt by his own man so this one was um, they'd put a kick through uh, I can't remember who, who'd, who'd kicked it it might have been Wood himself but they put a kick through and Joe Burgess had got to the kick and kicked it forward himself and was going to try and pick up the kick and Justin Horrow came in and tackled him and dislodged the ball but in Justin Horrow coming in Kyle Wood was coming from the other side and just after the ball had gone and Joe Burgess had gone Justin Horrow off the back of his attempted tackle, rolled over the back of Kyle Wood's legs. So I've got to say the more serious uh, tactic seems to be falling over your own players, but I don't don't really want to um, go to... You know, it's just it's bad luck, effectively, is what I'm yeah, saying. It, there was it, no Wigan it's... player near two of those incidents. So, so to get yeah. the narrative that Wigan were targeting these and causing injuries takes away from the truth, even though there's certainly a couple of tackles in this game that were very <laughs> questionable and if not worse and they were worse they they just, they got charged and you know deserved them um you know i'm not saying there was no bad tackles in the game but let's not get let's not let a narrative get in the way of the truth guys that yeah. only one injury came from any sort of wigan tackle good or bad any sort of wigan tackle no i mean injuries happen it's you know it's a it's a contact spot and injuries happen in, in tackles more often than you know than anything sometimes there are things that are going on in those tackles that are illegal and they'll be dealt with by the disciplinary more often than not right that's, and th- yeah that's that <laughs> that's the talking point i know you didn't see the instances so it's hard for you to to comment on and, and i don't want you to like you know, labour the point when you or be forced to say something when you haven't <laughs> actually. No, seen. but no, but th- th- that's the, I, I think that about anything. I mean, you know, we, we uh, you know, um, one of our um, George Flanagan broke his thumb um, in in a tackle um, for in the Bradford game, but you know that that kind of stuff happens in a contact sport. You know, was his hand put in a bad position by the other, the other player, possibly, but was it deliberate? Probably not. You know. Yeah. Injuries unfortunately happen, and sometimes those injuries mean that players can miss weeks. Um, but you know, more often than not, you know, it's not foul play, and it's certainly not deliberate foul play. Um, Ninety nine times out of a hundred, most of the time, and even the ones that are hugely reckless, oftentimes players don't want to actually injure their opponents. Um, I, I would say, like the Tom Lynham one. Um, yeah. Right, let's talk about the rugby. We've covered the injuries. Yeah, that was the say. talking point that people, you know, wanted me to go through and wanted to assume my opinion on or, or, or otherwise. And, you know, so I, I've gone through those things now. Um, maybe draw a line under the fact that, that we all agree that we don't want to see dangerous tackles in the game. We want to see them yeah. finished. Um, it, on, the, on the field, like I say, where, Wakefield's resilience was really good. Wigan's goal line defence was really impressive in the first half until those last four minutes of the first half. Wakefield had all the ball, all the territory from the kickoff on. It felt like Wigan. Um, I think Wigan scored on the first play that they had a play of the ball inside the the Wakefield twenty. Uh, to be completely honest, great play by Joe Burgess. Um, but with that burst and with the sheer doggedness really and the physicality I mean they were they had big bloke after big bloke so even though they lost players they just ended up with so many huge fucking humans on the pitch <laughs> that Wigan's kids really couldn't cope against them and, and every credit to to the, um, Wakefield for that I mean star players it's hard to look past the 80 minute performance of the video editing specialist David Fafita really I mean 
he he was impressive. What he does really well when he plays 80 minutes is he'll take himself out of the game for spells. So he'll put himself defensively away from where the carries are going to come when it's, you know, when it's one of them sets where you know that the other team are just cycling through to get to the kick because they've been under pressure or whatever. He's really good at staying away from that sort of stuff. And he's really... 